Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the Jab Effect. Make sure y'all subscribe. Just back with another quick video here. I uh, want to talk about these two fighters right here. Um, as you know, Sergey Derbachenko, he is uh, the number one mandatory. He was named the number one mandatory for Jamal Charlo's WBC title. And, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about this matchup and, you know, what it means for the middleweight division and for both of these fighters. Um, first off, you know, I just got to say that this is a solid matchup. You know, this is a this is like an A matchup for the middleweight division and for somebody on Jamal, Jamar Charlo's resume, as well as uh, Sergey Dovachenko. Because um, right now, Sergey Dovachenko, you know, I, I, I really felt like, you know, he's one of the toughest non-title holders in the division. And in my opinion, he was able to beat Triple G, which they didn't give him the decision in that last fight he had. And uh, before that, you know, he gave Danny Jacobs a pretty tough fight. Uh, Danny Jacobs was able to beat him by, it was like a what, split decision. I felt like uh, Danny Jacobs, he beat him pretty decisively, but, you know, he gave Danny Jacobs a lot. You know, he gave Danny Jacobs that work, you know, and gave him a good co competitive fight. Whereas Triple G, I felt like, hey, man, he, he, he almost, he, he damn near retired Golovkin in that fight, man. And, um, that's what that's what the middleweight division needs it needs it needed a lot of uh competition you know a lot of um good solid fights that could be made because even like a couple years back on the jab podcast episode we on one of the jab podcast episodes we talked about you know this like middleweight tournament you know it's like an unspoken middleweight tournament between guys like you know canelo jacobs triple g demetrius andre charlo and derbachenko and we we're saying that all these guys need to mix it up well of course the top three, they already mixed it up, you know, Jacobs, Golovkin, and Canelo. But all of these other fights, there's so many other fights that still need to be made, like between Andre and Jamal Charlo, as well as like uh, Dervichenko. You know, he's got he's got fights with Jacobs and Golovkin, but he hasn't mixed it up with some of these other younger cats to kind of give them a test. You know, there's still guys like Demetrius Andre, who's been on matchroom boxing now, who's, you know, been racking up some title defenses with his, uh, you know, WBO belt. But you know, nobody really on his resume yet. You know, they still need to make a fight, a big fight for him as well as Jamal Charlo. You know, there was rumors that Eddie Hearn had offered Jamal Charlo like a one fight deal to fight either. Uh, I think it was either Andre or Canelo, but I don't know much on that. Like, I still need to kind of do research, find out if that was really true. But as far as J Jamal Charlo having uh, Jerichenko as the number one uh, mandatory, you know, that that fight could happen. You know, it could happen on PVC or matchroom boxing because I've seen Dorichenko. He fought he fought on both, you know, he fought on both of those sides. So that would be a good test for uh, Jamal Charlo in a fight that could definitely be made because even Jamal Charlo, you know, he's he's a solid guy in the middleweight division. You know, he definitely has good power and good skill. And he's been fighting some, you know, awkward, tricky boxers as of lately. And they've been giving him tests. But I think that somebody like Dorichenko, would give him all he could handle. He would definitely give him a good test. And if he could get past somebody like Derichenko, that would definitely put him in that next level and maybe get him like a Golovkin fight or a Demetrius Andre fight. So to really put himself on the map, you know, even get a crossover fight over to a matchroom to, you know, solidify maybe a Canelo fight or Chris Eubank Jr. fight, he needs to take on somebody like Derichenko because Derichenko would give him a good, skillful fight as well as really test his power because that would be a good style matchup because First of all, Derbachenko, he's like one of those little small powerhouses that keeps coming forward, throws a lot of uh, high power combinations. He's strong. You know, he's almost like a little, you know, holy feel in there, the way he's he's um, kind of going down to the body and then going back up to the head and kind of spinning out and kind of rushing you and, you know, setting up his counters. You know, he's a good boxer. You know, Jamal Charlo, he's a good mid-range fighter with, with really good power in the right hand. And, you know, he's a good patient fighter. You know, he has a solid chin as well. And, um... Yeah, it just spells good matchup. You know, that definitely spells a good matchup. And there's nothing, you know, I feel like there's no other fight that would really make sense right now for Jamal or for Sergey Derbachenko. You know, it would be Derbachenko getting another title opportunity, which to me, he earned because, like I said, I feel like he beat Golovkin. And this would be one of the biggest names as far as, you know, a, a really solid test on Jamal Charlo's record. But, yeah, man, that's all I got on this one, guys. Um. If this fight does, you know, come to fruition, you know, I'll definitely be talking about it more, making videos on it, podcast episodes, whatever, and doing some breakdowns on it. But let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Jamal Charlo versus Sergey Dervichenko for his uh, WBC title. Y'all think that fight makes sense? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure y'all subscribe. Combo Breaker 99, Jab Effect. I'm out. Peace.